Uh, no, it's been very interesting. I've, I've uh, enjoyed um, being part of two of the sessions. Uh, in the morning session, it was very hear interesting to hear a kind of corporate view from Novatech about what they were thinking about the long-term future of the LNG market. Mm -hmm. And then to hear some alternative views about both the, the long-term perspective, but also the shorter-term kind of price movements, um, potential supply and demand, and uh, potential outcomes in terms of um, you know, more specific things like introductions of technology and financing. So it's been interesting, broad, a broad topic of, uh, of interest, yeah. At this conference, yeah, that's my first time at this conference. Yeah, and I've also been very interested by how many people are here as well, actually. LNG is not something you associate particularly with Russia, uh, but uh, the conference has been very full and there's been lots of very interesting questions. So obviously it is a topic that is of interest here. No, the organisation has been very good and, and the speakers have been uh, very interesting. I, I think, um, yeah, no. This morning there were, you know, com major companies like Shell were here and obviously Novatech, as I said, and which is which is great. Um, and the topics of discussion, I think, have been, uh, you know, very similar to to European conferences in terms of the sort of te technological issues, um, financing issues, and then the sort of general perceptions of the market. So it's been, yeah, very good. Um, well, it's been a bit of a slow burner, if I can put it like that, because there's been a lot of talk about LNG for the past decade. A lot of projects have been postponed, and you know, just recently a couple of gas bomb projects have been pushed back again. But obviously, you know, the big excitement is about Novatech and Yamal LNG and, and Novatech's future plans. So I think, um, you know, the future looks to be in um, good hands. It's different hands than expected, but uh, you know, Novatech leading the way and Gazprom perhaps uh, taking a back seat for a while and focusing on its pipeline business. But overall, I think the world is starting to realise that Russia is becoming a serious LNG player over the next decade and needs to be taken seriously.